Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like it has been the longest time, it's probably been a few weeks since I've done a vlog and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to start a vlog today. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet, but I'm just going to start a little weekend vlog. So it is Friday today, um, it is lunchtime and I was just like, do you know what? Like, I haven't done a vlog in so long, so I'm going to show you this weekend, show you some little bits I've bought. I've been doing quite a lot of shopping recently. And, yeah, I'm going to bring you along for the week. So, hope you are all doing well. It has been so long since... I actually feel like it's been the longest time since I've done a vlog. So, I don't even know what the last thing I told you all was. Like, my furniture in my apartment, I don't know what the last thing you've seen is. Um, I'm still waiting on the sofa. Hopefully, I'm fingers crossed in, it should be here. Fingers crossed in? Fingers crossed. It should be here next week. I'm just putting it out there into the open because I think that might be the case. I'm hoping it's the case because I'm sick to death of sitting on this bloody, bloody stupid sofa. We'll all be disappointed in me to know that um, the edibles jar is now in fact again filled with custard creams um i had some people around the other day and i was like i can't have a biscuit jar empty and they had three biscuits so now i've got left with probably 50 biscuits left in this jar and they're just such a good little snack if you don't love a custard cream you actually are crazy like oh my god but shouldn't have eaten that really on camera I put them next to my kettle so people could like make a cup of tea, make a coffee, have a custard cream. I live alone. The only person who is having a coffee and a custard cream is me. So this is really not helping the diet front. I've actually been really good in the gym recently. So why I did this a few days ago, I'm just not sure. Like people come to my apartment and I get really excited like, oh my God, like I'll buy so much food in in case they want a snack. Like, I bought mini rolls, mini roll, a full packet of mini rolls, um, Skittles, like, everything you can imagine sweets-wise. No one had anything. Why did I do that? Now I'm just stuck knowing I've got mini rolls in my cupboard and no one's going to eat them because I live alone. So, that was the biggest mistake I've made because now my diet is going to be absolutely out of the window. But... can't have my diet out the window because I've got some really exciting shoots coming up in the next few weeks and I can't, I, I need to be in the best shape of my life this summer. So the edibles really is not helping me at all. I don't know why I did that. It's been empty for so long and I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't know what I was thinking but anyway, that's going to stay there probably. As long as I limit myself to like two a day. I'd say that that's going to be okay, maybe. I'm going to show you some bits that I've literally just got from my concierge downstairs. You are going to die. So, oh my God, you actually are going to die. So, I've ordered some stuff from Farfetch and this is so exciting. I actually will have a Farfetch code, which I don't know yet, but I'm going to find it. I'll, I'm going to find out what it is and I'm going to put it in this YouTube video. Um... So yeah, I need to actually ask about that. But I've got a Farfetch code for you all if, it, if in case you want to buy anything that I just bought because it is mega. So this bag, we're gonna die, ladies and gentlemen. Like, oh my Jesus Christ, Lord, look at that. How beautiful is that? So I actually thought it was silver, which it obviously is silver, but I think it's got like a tinge of lilac. Like I'm pretty sure it's got a tinge of purple to it. Um, my mum's calling me. So yeah, this bag is so, oh my God. So I've got this bag in black and I literally use it. It's one of my most used bags ever. I got it like two Christmases ago. And then I seen this on the website and I was like, I literally need to have this bag in my life for summer. Like, I'm just obsessed. How cute is that? Guys as well, Apple Watch is on. Just a little side note. I've just seen it flash on the camera. Yes, I am back on my fitness. Other than the food, my fitness actually is going really well. I'm even wearing my Apple Watch every day. But anyway, back to the fact. The bag is fucking amazing. So you can put it like crossbody. I haven't used it yet, obviously. It literally came this morning. Like even just with this black track too, it's just, I'm obsessed. I love bags. Bags and shoes are my big, well, bags and trainers really, not really even shoes. Bags and trainers are my weakness of all time, but bags are my biggest, fattest weakness. And this 
is just, it makes me happy. Like, I actually just walked past it multiple times today. I've left it in my kitchen because I've like, opened my package in my kitchen. I'm walking past it. I just, I just feel happy every time I see it. Like, I think, oh, I forgot I had you. Welcome to, welcome to your new home. I'm going to take such good care of you. I'm not going to kiss you because I've got lipstick on. So that was my first thing I got from Farfetch. And then my second thing, because this summer, I am not joking, I'm planning to be on holiday the whole time. Um, and I always think, you know, when you buy like things for holidays, like design things for holidays, it don't really make much, se much sense because you're not really on holiday for that much of the year. But I saw these Prada shorts and I was like, I need to get these because I could wear these in England. I could wear these on multiple different holidays. Like, I need to get them. So look, oh, I pulled them up the wrong way. Look at these, how cute. So they're like a white towel-y material, you can see that. And um, the little badge there. And I just feel like these will never go out. Cause like, don't get me wrong, I would not normally buy like Prada shorts because I think, or like a, what would, what can I think of a good example? Like, you know like a dress that you can wear one time. I wouldn't probably buy a design on because I just think, what is the point? Like literally, what is the point? I'm gonna wear it once and I'm gonna waste all that money. Like it's ridiculous, but these, I'm going to wear all the time, like even in England I'd wear these with like a sweatshirt or whatever, you know when it's obviously the weather's a little bit hotter, but I just thought they are so cute, I couldn't resist getting at these. Then another little bit from summer that has just come this morning, I'm just going to show you things that I've got this morning, um, is this really cute Skims bodysuit, so I don't know if I've mentioned, I think this is inside out, is it inside out, it's inside out. Um, I think I've, I don't know if I've mentioned on here before, but I literally love the Skims bodysuits. I've worn them. When Skims first ever launched and you couldn't get it in the UK, I used to buy the Skims bodysuits and the, the shipping, oh my God, like the taxes or whatever used to cost a fortune. Like why does it cost so much from there? But I used to still buy them because the bodysuits are so good. Like I still wear bodysuits now from Skims that I got when Skims first launched. Like what was it? Two years ago? More? Probably more now. Um black ones the still black like literally skims is the best best ever for bodysuits so and top like t-shirts um skims pajamas all my pajamas nearly now are skims because i know they're expensive but they just last like so long like the stuff from there the bodysuits compared to like a 12 pound bodysuit from like a normal fast fashion place yeah it's like 60 pound or whatever to 12 pound but the 12 pound ones actually free washes and the stitches come out. The skim ones, skims ones actually last year for ages. So bottom line of the story is all that rambling. I'm obsessed with it and I always have been since it launched. So I seen on the website last night on Selfridges because you now buy it in Selfridges. So obviously you just get like next day delivery. I've got free next day delivery because I think I paid like a tenner or something and got it for a year. Um, and you don't pay like customs, you don't pay taxes, nothing. It's the best thing ever having it on Selfridges. And this colour has come out. So how cute is that? With like some little blue jeans for summer. Maybe like my little new bag. I think it's actually, I just love pink. I just love it. So this is going to be really cute in summer. Um, I know it's a bit bright for this kind of weather, but... I really just like colour. I just love it. It makes me happy. Last thing that has come up this morning, I just got this Essentials tracksuit um, in like the grey colour. I got this from Henry Chadwick's on Instagram. Um, yeah, Ari uses them all the time. Knows them really well. And said, they literally, I got, I ordered this like two days ago and he dropped it off at my house. Um, yeah, just this grey Essentials tracksuit. Ari actually got it last week and I was like, I really need to get that colour. So it's just... The hoodie and the joggers. Um, I got a size small top and a small bottoms. So I think that is going to be nice. But the Essentials hoodies are just so good. The tracksuits are so good. Every Essentials thing I've had, I've had for ages. And you like them days when you don't know what to wear. I always just shove one on. So I'm really excited for this. And I'm probably going to order the black and the like brownie colour as well. Because you just can't have too many of them. They're actually the best. So yeah, that's a really exciting what I've got this morning. Even... No, not really working with the bag. But yeah, this is just really cute. I'm probably going to wear it this weekend. So yeah, that's what I've got this morning. Um, I'm actually going to do a makeup shot now on my iPad. I bought an iPad like a few weeks ago. 
and it's the best thing ever because my brother was like mary why do you not have an ipad and i was like never really thought about having an ipad to be honest like it's pointless i've got my phone i've got my laptop and he was like no like when you're shopping like when you're looking online stuff like that ipads are so much better to have so anyway i bought an ipad and it's the best thing ever it's actually like the perfect shopping companion so I'm going to sit down in a minute on the most uncomfortable sofa in the world and do a big makeup order from like Look Fantastic or something. So there's like a few things that I've run out of, a few things that I want to try. And then when that comes tomorrow, I'm going to show you all that because who doesn't love a little makeup unboxing? So yeah, I'm going to do that now, spend more money, but it's for YouTube. The Barstools, I ordered the Celetti ones, if anyone remembers them. I ordered the Celetti Barstools off Naked Interiors, I think it's called. I'm actually going to call them out because it's been ridiculous. Naked Interiors, I think I ordered them from on the 14th of January. They were meant to come in two weeks. I then got an email saying that they'd been delayed um, and they was going to come on the 2nd of March. So I was like, oh my God, like that's so annoying. But do you know what? It's not the end of the world, like it's just an extra month i waited and then i was emailing like excuse me like i've not had a dispatch like it's meant to be coming tomorrow no 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 there's like yeah they're still on track they're still on track then the last day of the delivery was meant to be i was like i've still not had a dispatch email there was like oh yeah um there's been a delay you're now gonna get them on like the 17th of april april i ordered them on the 14th of january i was like you know what just give me a refund because that's actually ridiculous bear in mind these bar stools was like 650 pound each like it's not like i've just bought some fucking some 50 pound bar stools like i would i was considering it for a long time and i was like you know what i'll just order them and then they're taking like th four months to come i was like you're absolutely taking the piss there just give me a refund and i'm gonna try order them off the celeti website and hopefully they come faster but that's the update on the barcels because i keep seeing people asking me how i've got the barcels on insta and i did actually order them but what a joke is that so yeah don't shop on naked interiors i think that's what it's called because they actually took the piss with that so a little house update this is my little corner now what it's looking like i think this is what i'm going to leave it looking like this is the final stages so the Little chair was from Brick Furniture. The Bear Bricks is from Selfridges. The mirror was from Lena Mirrors. This, oh wait, let me not get outside in. This table was from Home Sense. The lamp B and Q. This was from mum, 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 mum. I can't remember the name of it. August by Amy or something. I'll find it and write it on the screen. Put some pampas in it, and then these little things was from uh fab interiors i think so that's my little corner now how cute is that looking like for real i just need to get some art put on the wall here then literally i am obsessed with my new coffee table how cute is that i've waited so long for this coffee table you don't even understand but everything's just like takes so long to get in stock these days um this would obviously go there so yeah, how cute is that? I'm with my little sofas there and not these manky, disgusting blinds. This is gonna look so nice because my sofa is gonna go all here, a big cream sofa. So hopefully that is going to come next week. Now that Christmas is over, the table is cleared now. Obviously, excuse the laptop, but yeah, obviously I do normally have those open. I've just shut them so you can't see out of my apartment. But how nice is the table looking? Oh, now it's Christmas, I just decided to move everything off it. Like it was just too much. Oh, my table is from housing units. I forgot to say the coffee table is also from housing units. The chairs are from Cult Furniture. And yeah, this is what it's coming to look like. Now I just need my big cream sofa and it's going to all be cream and beautiful. And I'm just so excited. And everyone's been asking me to do updates on the house. But nothing's really actually come that much, like, at all. I can't remember the last thing I showed you. Like, obviously, I think you've seen my bed, for sure. Um, and nothing else has really come yet. Now I just need my sofa, my blinds, and a mirror for behind me. I actually ordered the mirror from um, Shabby Stores. I think it is on Instagram. On the In December. It was meant to come in two days, that's not come, and they now can't get on the website, so I think I've just been robbed of a mirror as well, so that's great. I need to order it again, because they've got it on Biker and Stone House, but I'm going to order that actually right now, because it's meant to go on the wall through there. And then it's finally coming together, I just need 
my sofa, some art, and obviously I'm sorting out the curtains finally again tomorrow. And then it should be coming along in here, and I'm so excited. By the time I've got all the furniture, it'll be time to move out. Um, no, I'm joking. I only wanted to be in here a year, really, until November, but I probably will be in here too, just because I love it so much in here. Like, it's so nice, so close to everything, I feel safe, and obviously it's taken me six months to get all my furniture so <laughs> i might as well stay here for a little bit longer good morning guys so it is now the next day it's saturday today um i've got my new essentials tracksuit on that i showed you oh you also do you want me to start doing full outfit things on youtube so i've literally just got the tracksuit on and then oh my god i'm so inflexible oh them trainers so i'm just about to leave to go to see the people who are making my curtains so i'm gonna i need to today choose the material so these are my cushions that i've got in my bedroom um one of the colors and i'm gonna get this color throughout the apartment because it's just i feel like it's just a color that goes with everything and i wasn't going to get um curtains really because i got the quote of the curtains and i was like Oh my god, because obviously I am renting this apartment. So I was like, I'm not doing it. I want to be out in November. But I can't stand to see these blinds any longer. Like, they actually drive me insane. So I'm just going to bite the bullet, get the curtains. And then I'm going to buy an apartment anyway. So the low, I feel like the windows in here are so big that no matter what apartment I move to, they can't be bigger than these windows. So I'm just going to use them again. This is the colour I'm going for. I'm going to get as close to as possible. So I'm going to take these with me and then match them up. And then I've ordered the makeup orders. So I've ordered some little makeup bits that I wanted to try. Some things that I've refilled. So that has got here. I've got a message to say that my parcel's here. But I'll get that afterwards and show you guys what I get. And then I really want to go see the new Batman movie tonight. But I feel like this is Saturday. And it's just come out. It's going to be fully booked. One thing that people do not know about me, for sure, I don't think I've ever said this, but I am obsessed with Marvel. Like, every Marvel film that comes out, I'm obsessed. I literally love it. So, yeah, I need to go watch Batman because apparently it's amazing as well. So, hopefully someone will go watch that with me tonight and there'll be spaces left. So guys, I've just chose the curtains. I would have brought you in, but it's like a really small shop and it would have been a bit weird. I was only in there two minutes, took my, took my cushion, got the best match curtains. And yeah, I'm so happy. She said that she might have them done in three weeks. Fingers crossed. Cause I did find out yesterday, my sofa has now been delayed until April. Um, but that could be three weeks. Maybe I'm gonna get the, the bar stools, the sofa, and the curtains all in the same week in three weeks. So I just told my mum, my mum was like, and by that point, we were going to hold in you up here all summer, which would just be typical. So yeah, but I'm happy about that. I'm happy the curtains are finally sorted. They're on the way to me, and I'm not gonna have to look at them ugly, fugly blinds for a second longer. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a Starbucks now. I'm back obsessed with my matches. Um, I don't know why I've got this new obsession again. Um, I was really obsessed with them last summer. Maybe it's because the sun's becoming a bit like, it's becoming a bit sunnier. Like, look at the, the blue sky behind me. I know it's, it's like half and half, but today it's a bit sunny. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with matchas. So I get a soy milk matcha with sugar-free vanilla, and it's just amazing. So I'm gonna go get one now. There's no drive throughs near me in Manchester, which is so annoying. So I got my Starbucks, and I was actually just on my way into, back to my apartment. And Sophie called me and said, do you want to go for lunch? So, that is the best thing about living literally over the road from your best friend. So, I have just parked my car in my building and just waiting for Sophie to pick me up. I'm going to go for some lunch. That's good because the sun is out. I want to go out somewhere. It's, the sun actually changes everything in Manchester. So, yeah, we're just going to go for some lunch now, which is great because I'm actually starving. And sit in the sun. We had like six... I can't remember what Sophie said now, but we're going somewhere that I've never been before, so that'd be nice. So I'll bring you along. And luckily I've got my camera, so I had you in the car. Oh, I think she's pulling up now. So Sophie picks me up. We went to Kirsch Kicks. Um, even though I'm on a spending ban. <laughs> fail. It was a fail because it was actually when it meant to be, though. She had a card so back for one day. Yeah, I even told the story. Oh, right. So basically last week, my bag got stolen. Um... So obviously it was just an inconvenience. Like I had to get all new cards, whatever. So I was had literally like 
no money because I couldn't spend all my cards was cancelled which is a blessing by which, the way yeah because she is needs to be on a spending ban yeah so then last week obviously I had I couldn't couldn't pay for anything because my, all my cards have been cancelled so Ari was drawing me cash Ari drew out me t- Ari drew me out 200 pound cash and she was like you go and make it last year the weekend and then I was like wait if someone did this to me all the time it would actually be so much better because i would save so much money because the amount of times i went to order things and then was like oh wait i can't my cards have been cancelled so i actually saved so much money last week so that's actually why these was actually a good purchase but we just went into kirsch cake so wanted an essentials tracksuit and um i tried oh uh i'd say right Sophie wanted an essential tracksuit, so got that. I tried on a Drew hoodie, but they wasn't uh, they weren't in my size. But then, as Sophie was paying, there was these Air Force and St- Times Stussy just on the side that someone didn't want. And I was like, oh, what size are they? And there was like, there were five. And, oh my God, let me... <laughs> Grab them. It was just... Of a course. Sh- she had to get them. Yeah, they fit perfect, though, as well. And what are the chances of that? I've never even seen these before. So, look how they're sick. They are nice. They are, they are so, so nice. sick. How cool are they? That's so, the last thing you're buying. That's now, the though. last. But imagine them on with summer and like, like the Prada beach bag. Yeah, that would look fit. How cool is that gonna look? So, yeah, I had to get them, but now I'm actually not buying anything else. So I'm not gonna buy an outfit for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear <laughs> something I've already got. Um, compromise. So yeah, we're on our way for food now, if we ever make it out of the northern quarter. Because so the big. driving around here is so bad, not the driving, like it's all it's one way big. system, it's ridiculous. All the roads are shut off, Google doesn't know all the roads have been shut off. Um, look at all them people dressed up to go yeah. out there. Yeah. They're oh starting God. early. Jeez. Jesus They're Christ, nice. I'd be absolutely arsehole by three o'clock. Yeah, absolutely not. Um, so yeah, where are we going for lunch? Um, La V, I think. La V. Never been. It's so nice. So we're going to La V. Sounds like say La V in mm. Dubai. It's new. Well, it's nearly new. Is it? No, it's not new, but it's quite new. I've never heard of it. So we're yeah. going there. What kind of food is it? It's like scrambled eggs. Oh, great. Breakfasty food. So, so yeah, vibe. I was in a great mood anyway today because it's sunny, but now I'm in the best mood ever because I feel like I've just had a steal there. Well, I definitely had a steal because it's really cheap. Stole, yeah. But I mean, I've had You've it. You've been tap, tap, tapping away again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean Corey, yeah. I tapped too hard. <laughs> Three hundred pound gone. <laughs> I oh, slipped and fell into the coach. Great. Are we in the restaurant? So I'm getting my book. Um, we're just doing it very on the low key. This is the food we've got. So we've got. But bear in mind, Sophie, I'm on a diet, and Sophie has brought me to a waffle place. No, we've got eggs. Yeah, but I wanted to get French toast. Everyone around us has got pancakes, and we've got fucking scrambled egg. <laughs> what the hell is that about? And so, turkey bacon, we're not eating pork. And turkey bacon, yeah, we're not eating pork. So I didn't eat pork anyway, I don't like it. Yeah. Um, so this is the dinner, this is the lunch. We've got scrambled egg, turkey bacon. So we've got the same. And then we've got two pistachio and, what is it? Pistachio. We've and got two pistachio. Ice latte. Ice latte. Ice latte. Oh yeah. shit, now I've got hot. Oh wow. Do you to go change on? Um, no, I'll get hot. I don't okay. mind hot. So yeah, we're gonna. I like hot things. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back in the car we've just obviously had lunch and i've had an epiphany is that the word an epiphany and i think me and sophie should get tattoos so i found a tattoo and i was like so should we go get it and she was like absolutely yes so we're now on the way to get tattoos because me and sophie have actually got this as a matching tattoo we got this before i went on love island let me see mine yeah. We got this before I went on Love Island. Um, just before I, was it just before I left? Yeah, yeah it was, it wasn't was. it? We're gonna get a butterfly this time. We've just gotta decide where should we get it on the body. Yeah, where? I don't know. We're getting red as well. Small and red. Everything's gotta Every, be red, yeah. everything. So mm. I think either on like the leg, like the bottom near the ankles, or maybe like behind the arm, or maybe the body. I don't, I quite like there. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm worried about that. I feel like it might hurt. But it's only going to take two minutes. Yeah, Because it's the smallest thing in the world. Yeah. 
Where should we get it on the on the body? I don't know. Oh, what about the arm? The, arm the only thing is, I don't want it on my left arm because when I get married, I want that's, to wear no. Yes, like, I want to wear. That is what I was yeah. gonna say. When you wear a wedding dress, you don't want it to be. Yeah, visible. that's that's the only reason I won't get it on my arm. Yeah, okay. I liked it here because I always thought we will wear bracelets. So if we really hated it that much, we would cover it up. But we love it. <laughs> we love it. But it's just not always on show. It's a little flash. We need somewhere that's a flash. I feel like... I wish this was live so we could ask them where we should get it. I know, we need a help right now. Hmm. I feel like the ankle's just like a waist. Do you think? Yeah, I don't Oh, know. really? Do you like that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Little update, we've just been in one tattoo shop and they was full for the day. So, somewhere I can fit us in but in an hour and a half. So we're just deciding whether to stay around here because we like the other side of Manchester to us, so do we go for a drink? Sophie's got no ID and it's a Saturday afternoon, or do we go home and then come back out in an hour? But we've been thinking if we go home, we're probably going to get off the hype of having a tattoo, so yeah. probably we'll be like, oh, should we go back? Can we just stay out? Yeah, I agree. Should we just stay out? Yeah. The thing is, we're in Northern Quarter and I don't know any bars around here, but we could always just walk up to anywhere. Yeah. I feel like in Northern Quarter we're going to get in dressed like we, we dress. Yeah, 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 we'll be sweet. So we're the best place, really. That place over there looks pretty funky. They've got a bounce from the door, but then we are in Northern Quarter, so... We could try there. Yeah. Yeah? We'll try. Okay, let's go then. We just stumbled upon this restaurant. No, not bar. this bar. And we've come inside and it's the cutest little bar. And they've got these little private room things. <laughs> Why do we look like we're trying to live in the room? So <laughs> <laughs> How cool is this? Like, let me show you. It's so cool. It's in Northern Quarter. Yeah. And then look, like, all these are like little individual rooms. You can just get them. So in there is like a main bar bit. But then we've seen this bit outside. And it's literally just like a little room. I feel this like I'm in like one. Alaska. Same. You know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> How nice is this? So nice. We're outside. It's not even cold though, is it? I feel like there's definitely going to be spiders in here, but don't when you get that. past that part. And look, we got. I got a French berry. What did you get? Said spiders. No, it won't be. Um, Marla's secret. Cheers. Cheers, bitch. Cheers, song. I feel like this. Cheers, YouTube. Lighting is really bad. Do <laughs> you look like an? <laughs> you look like I don't like an egg. I look like no merit. If you put your hand in, I look bald. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my bald friend. <laughs> I know I have a big bald, guys. I want to buy it. There's nowhere to pop it. Mm. But I'm just really loving it. They've got a little furry seat. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, my God. Sophie. It's a fly. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, oh my god, why is it so zoomed in right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what have I done? How do I zoom out? <laughs> Wait, how do I zoom out? <laughs> I don't know how to zoom out. This is a really good place to come. What is it called? Marla's. Marla's. It's called Marla's, Marla's for anyone who wants to know in the Northern Quarter of Manchester. So, what a cute little. Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it's all around, but yeah. I can see That's what we're gonna get, but obviously really tiny and red. So, and we've decided here. So we're gonna get them to draw it on and see what it looks like. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To life, honey. To life we're getting tattoos, <laughs> spontaneous days. <laughs> see that TikTok was like, when the drink starts to feel like, no, I'm trying to wipe it out. <laughs> <laughs> Like, when the drink starts to taste like she just pushed me. No, <laughs> <laughs> see, no. And then now, how far are we? Um, nine minutes away. Oh, fuck it out. Yeah, well, it was like two minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh, nine minutes. So we're walking in now. We've decided we're definitely going to get it on this left side. I'm cold. That bar was so cool as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was so nice. I'm just going to put it down while we're walking past people. <laughs> yeah, so we'll video in there. I'm really excited. The one drink's maybe taking the edge off for the yeah, pain. pain. So. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Don't even know. You okay? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's 
cheese off. It doesn't even hurt. It's not hurting. Come on, you're nearly there. I feel like it tickles and I'm going to laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh, you have a long kid. I know, I'm trying not to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> nearly done. Oh, is it nearly done? Okay. Yeah. You've only got one little bit I'm left. I'm like tensing so I don't laugh. Yep, yeah, we're done. Thank you. Aww. Did it hurt? No. It's not bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It looks really cute. Did you do it a little bit? How's that? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what it feels like? Do you know when like you try some jeans and all clothes and it's still got the tag on? Yeah. And it kind of scratches you a little bit. <laughs> you feel? How do you feel, Mary? I feel fine. I'm a warrior. Don't <laughs> oh, let me laugh. I love a one. Okay, sorry, but don't breathe. Oh, so fast. Thank you. Love it. Oh, I'll show the YouTube private. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. How cute. So we're back in the car after getting tattered up. <laughs> <laughs> the way we was banging on then, then people, the tattooists must have thought, these out. morons, like, literally, we go banging on about it like we were getting a sleeve each. I was And scared. really, it was the size of five pence P. I think it hurt. Do you think? A little bit, yeah. I, did, I actually couldn't feel it at all at some points, and I thought this was because I'm, I'm fat. <laughs> You're not fat. <laughs> like the at all. like there were bits I thought, ooh, a bit stinky, but other bits I genuinely couldn't tell you was touching me and I thought that was my fat. No, bit. I could hear it. Yeah, because you're skin and bone. So that was great. It's obviously bandaged now. So bandaged. <laughs> oh my god. It's got cling film on it and some sticky tape. I can't wait to see it properly. I feel like I've not seen I know. it. I know, I think where I've had it done is just perfect. Like your arm is gonna show it sometimes. It's not just in your face. <laughs> Um, so Can't just, that was just so random, what the hell? I know, that was what happened with these ones, it was just a random fling. Fling thing. So, yeah, we're on the way back now. I've convinced Sophie to come see Batman with me tonight, yes. which is exciting. So we've got that booked at 8.30, so we're going to go we back. such a good day. We have had such a good, spontaneous, random day. Okay. Uh, I told you, you know where we are now? We're yeah, going to come out of the Lidl or whatever it's called. I know where I am, but... Yeah. JD used this, um, this car park for it to shoot. But JD and I used to shoot there. Oh, really? Yeah, where the little thing is. He used to park there and then shoot around there. No way. Yeah, so it's good. Ah. Um, so yeah, we're on the way home now. Sophie's just taking us the longest way ever. How I actually don't know how I know more my more my way around Manchester when you are from Manchester. I'm from I know. Leeds. I've got the worst memory. Honestly, I'm like I'm, I'm I'm literally like Google Maps. Y yeah. I honestly am. I don't even need that. Like, find my car. Where's my car parked? Because I've got like a memory <laughs> of a map. I never forget anything. Wait, um, which way am I going now? Right. Right. Less to like selfish, isn't that? Honestly, I'm the worst. I just rely on Apple Maps every day of my life. So, It yeah. is what it is. Gonna go home, chill for a little bit. We've got two hours till the film starts. Yeah. I'm not gonna be hungry me for another dinner, are you? Um, I need to eat, definitely. So okay. I need to eat. Sure. I I can't. I don't really want to eat. I'm not hungry. But you, you can, can eat. eat. I'll eat. And then we'll I've get an ice blast. Do you get ice blast at the cinema? Tango ice blast. Yeah. Yeah. What do you get? Mix or do you get one or the other? I get this. Mixed. Is this? Is, oh my god, that good. I'm so glad you just said that. Why? If you would have said one or the other, I don't think we could have still been friends. No, obviously mix. You would have been like, if you don't get mixed ice blast at the cinema. What? We've got a guest. On the YouTube channel. Hi, Suki hey, Bear. Hi, baby. Hey. This is Suki. I believe you've already met her. YouTube's already met Suki before. Mm. She's so good. I haven't seen her in so long. She tries to tickle the belly when she comes in. Oh, they're nice. Ooh. They're nice. Kiss. They're nice. Hiya. <gasps> She's not happy now. Aww. She's like, my mom. So you excited? I want to cuddle. I've not seen you in ages. Mm. And you can I cuddle you? I've not seen you in so long. Wow. Oh, Is that to Mary here now? Oh, oh. oh God, Mary. Okay, 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 okay. okay. 
And I've heard really good things about Batman, Toby. What? I've heard really good things about Batman. I Batman. Like, no, this new one. Oh, like, it's meant to be amazing. Oh, some hand sanitizer. Um, yeah, it's meant to be really good. So I'm really excited. I wonder how long it is. Because if we're going at 8 o'clock, it won't start until 9. Probably, we'll probably get out of the cinema about 11, half 11. 10 minutes back. What? What are you doing? And then, um, early morning start for me in the morning, so we've got to get back to, to have you, girl. I want you to know that I really adore you. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> so on the way to the cinema, we're gonna on the way to cinema. We're, nearly, we're, we're running a little bit late we're because very the late. Manchester United game fucked us because we live right near the, the Man United ground. Old Trafford. Yeah, we live near Old Trafford. <laughs> so the, there was a lot of traffic, but we're here now. We're nearly here. I'm starving. We're I'm actually like, like I don't eat food and now I'm actually starving. You're not even putting the camera on you, I'm just putting it on me. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna get like a hot dog or something. Yeah, get some I hope they've got them. Cause I you do. know what, they've got the nachos sometimes in the cinema. They're a bit, they're a bit shit. Yeah, they don't come really in like them. Um, so you need to park itself. Just go straight round and then you can park yourself just here. You just gotta go the other end. All oh, right, okay. Go to yeah. the top of Selfridges. Yeah. Oh. Um, Why does she know more than me all the time about everything? The, I only know my, this I've lived I here to, all my life. I used to You've work lived here for here. a year. <laughs> so we're here. Oh now. my god, yeah, we are. That was quick. Yeah, was I'm rapid. actually. I actually know because I come here so much. <laughs> yeah, you spend all your money here. I was like, Sophie, do you like to go this way? She was like, mm, no. No. Yeah, I think we do actually. Um, um, so yeah, we're going to get some hot dog. We're not that late really because it's minutes. we're nine minutes late, but obviously there's the, always the credits for ages. Yeah. I do actually like, like where you going? The other end, Selfridges. This what? Is Selfridges, is it? Yeah, that's Selfridges. That's Selfridges. That is Selfridges. That's not Selfridges. No, Selfridges. I swear down. No, I'm really, no, babe, that, you can go into there. I swear that's down. That's the end I parked at that time, do you know? And I was like, I'm at the complete wrong end. And I was like, you was like, Mary, you're not at Selfridges, you parked the wrong end. Do you remember? No. And I was like, how have I done that wrong? And uh. you had to walk me the other end of the thing. So Selfridges. Oh. Um, right. <laughs> right then, that's me told. Right, okay, we've so got yeah. to go. Because um, we're going to be late. Yeah. We'll film it. Try to get a sneaky video in yeah, there. Sneaky video, give you a secret quick of Batman. Give you some little, what is it, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Don't, don't, uh, do yes, don't watch this if you're going to watch Batman too. I think you can go to, um, I've lost my phone, can you grab it? I'm pretty it, sure that you can go to prison for doing that. What? I'm absolutely knackered. Oh, it is 12 o'clock at night. We're we'll just out of the <laughs> cinema, but what's the verdict off? Oh, I liked it. It was fucking amazing. It was actually really scary. It was really scary. It was like times. Yeah, like, you know, do you know what, do you know, you know what scares me about films like that? How real it is. Do you know what I mean? Without giving too much away, like, that could happen. It's more like psych really? psychopaths. Oh, right, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's not like a ghost. It's not realistic. Yeah, it's it's realistic. Cycle. But I do definitely recommend, but it is at really late, so maybe don't go for the half past eight viewing. We wasn't late in the end. We sat down and it literally started ten seconds later, didn't it? Yeah, it started at like nine. We got pizza and cheese strips or whatever, so like not great for the diet, but we were both starving. And imagine we're eating now. I really need a drink. I feel oh. How did we get out? Good morning everybody, it is Sunday now, it is the next morning. I was literally so tired after the cinemas last night, but I slept fine, which is good because I didn't think I was gonna sleep because that film was actually really scary. It's a bit like a horror film. Um, but yeah, it's really good, I really recommend for you all to go see. So I've just got in the shower, washed my hair, because obviously I've got to go back to the estate, it's my friend's birthday. Um, so I'm just gonna get ready, I'm like, gonna let my hair dry whilst I'm getting ready and do my makeup. And I've just been downstairs and picked up my parcel of makeup that I ordered from, I think I ordered this from Beauty Bay. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna open it now. And I'm gonna get ready using some of it, so let's hope I like it. I should have really got a knife from the kitchen. I'll be using a brush. Uh, since I've had my nails taken off, I don't know if I've mentioned that on the vlog actually. I don't have any nails at the minute because um, 
I need them doing next week for a shoe and I was meant to have them done Thursday but I was like there's no point in having them done twice in a week so I cancelled it and went to just have them taken off and I'd shut put on but I literally cannot do anything because I must rely on my nails so much to open things, pick things up, these are just not the one at all so yeah that's great new makeup day is the best day it is the best day i'm sorry if that looks so bad this morning i don't know why i look this bad i was like why do i look this bad and I've got a spot here which is a nightmare so a little makeup unboxing i can't even remember what i ordered now so this is gonna be really exciting i'm really really hot it's really hot in my apartment today but i don't want to open the window because it'll be loud um so what did i order so i ordered my obviously I, if you've watched my youtubes you will know i use the tata tat tat whatever it's called um concealers and they are nearly written out again which is great but i know i used to love the nars um radiant cream concealer i used to swear by this before i went on to tat so i'm gonna try it again today so i got this in the shade custard um because that is i'm pretty sure that's what i used to use so yeah that's a real good one got this which i'm really excited to try obviously you will all know i swear by skin food um and literally it's my favorite thing probably one of my favorite makeup products but i've tried the skin food light this time because people were saying um they did it did come in light and i've just never tried it so hopefully this will be going to use this today and see what it's like the light version see if i can tell much of a difference because i feel like that'll be really really good um Illa Masca. What did I get in this? Oh, I think this is actually like a contour stick. Yeah, it is. So this is like a contour stick that I got from Illa Masca. Um, it looks really dark on there, but obviously contour is dark. I think this was like the medium shade. This was shade Silhouette. So it's a gel sculpt Silhouette. So that might be nice to use today. Exciting. Um, ooh! This, i just seen this on the website and I've not actually heard of it before so it's probably a bit of a risky buy but it is the Pi P-A-I um, Impossible Glow and it was like bronzing drops so let me try and get into this box I can't do anything without my nails I'm not going to use this today because that's weird risky news but the, gl the Impossible Glow it's like this and you put the drops in with like your moisturiser so I could put this with like the skin food or in my foundation just to make it a bit more glowy i thought this would be nice like a daytime um you know i could put on a daytime with a moisturizer and this and then a bit of concealer on your holidays so i'm really excited to try that but i'm not going to try this today um but yeah i'm actually really really excited to try that what is this this i'm excited for so it's the armani luminous silk foundation um i literally hear the best things about this so i'm really really excited to use this it's just a luminous silk i got this in shade seven and i'm gonna try this out today so that is gonna be really exciting i'm really excited to try this i'm pretty sure that holly uses that on me so it's not a complete new product but i have never tried it myself i got this bobby brown looks lip color um i got shade toasted honey so this should be really nice. I might try this out today. Let's see what colour it is. I feel like online they always look loads different. So it's really nice like nudie brown. So that could be cute to try today. And it's a cute little packaging. How nice is that? It's like Christmas. Oh, this is good. So this is um, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Your Skin But Better CC Cream so it's like a foundation but it's not as thick so ariana actually uses this and i always steal hers and i'm with her so i just thought i would order some myself i had to guess on the color because i can't remember what color ariana had and she was asleep when i was ordering it so but i've got medium tan so it comes like this um and this is really really good as like a daytime so maybe i could put like a bit of this and a bit of this together through the day and it would make like a really sheer glowy foundation so i'm gonna try it anyway so yeah that's really exciting best ever trusted translucent setting powder by laura mercia just mine's run out unfortunately so yeah this in fact i've got the glow though and i don't feel like i should have got the glow i feel like i should have gotten the matte hmm 
this could be a problem. Let me try, see what it looks like. Because I, I did, I, I was thinking it doesn't look like my usual one, but it was the only one that they had on the website. Translucent Glow, this is not great. This is not great, it says that on the box. I'm pretty sure that's not what mine is, right? The, the packaging's different. This is not great. I think I've got the shiny one, which is not really great for a setting powder. See, this is my original one, and this is this one. It looks different. Hmm. It doesn't look very shiny. I feel like it's, oh yeah, it's shiny. Fucked up there, guys. So the last thing I got was the Bobbi Brown, oh, I got this to go with the lipstick. Um, lip liner, Let's see what color this is. I'm really excited to try the foundation and the light skin food. What else? I might even use the NARS Radiant Concealer to it. So I got this Lux Defining Lipstick. It's definitely not a lipstick, I think it's a lip pencil. Yeah, so I just got it in this colour. Oh, can you see it? It's here. Um, this is the shade. Why have I been stupid here? It says Rouge Alivez definition looks first edition. One of them is this, the colour, but I feel like that will go really nice together with this. Oh, look at that, more or less, more or less a perfect match. So maybe I'll try them out today, that's really exciting. I love a new lipstick. I really just want to find like loads of lipsticks because I only have like one lip combo and it's not good enough, I need a few, so. Yeah, let's get my makeup started and get this show on the road because I need to get back to Leeds. My watch is so wrong, I need to set my watch properly. I'm not going to show you all my makeup probably in this video because it'll probably be too long, but I'll just show you me using the new products when I put them on. Obviously, I'll film the whole thing, but I'll crop it down. Um, but first of all, I know this is a new product, but I'm just pushing my brows through with the Benefit Clear Gel. Just get them up and out of the way because I'm going to do my eyes first. So I'm going to start. I'm going to use the NARS. I'm going to try it. Shall I use it on my eyes? Will it be too light? I can always try it. I could use the Laura Mercier Glow setting powder over the top of my concealer before I put my, my makeup on. So I'm just going to put the NARS custard all over my eyelid. The one thing I would say about this straight away that I've noticed from the tart is the um, width. Like the thickness of the brush is loads thinner because I literally do like one swipe on my eye with the tart and it, it, my eyelids are like covered. If that makes sense. Not that it's a problem. So just do multiple applications like this. Put that on and then I'm going to just blend it out with a beauty blender. These are the tart beauty blenders and I literally love them. They're just so good and squishy. I like this colour will actually look really nice under my eye as a concealer i mean i did use it for literally years like i swore by it so i mean i definitely i'm going to like it again so when that is on my eyes i'm actually gonna try the new setting powder because i mean it's glowy and who doesn't love a bit of glow on the eye i'm gonna put this on like a big brush just tap it off I kind of notice a difference that it's glowy. I would say no. My lashes are on. I used the Doll Beauty Esmeralda because I know a lot of people will ask me that. These ones feel really big today. I don't think I normally use the Esmeralda, but I feel like when my rest of my makeup's on, it's gonna look cute. A big lash. So in with the skin food, light, the light skin food. 
Um, it doesn't feel different to begin with. I could put a little bit too much on my hand there. Yeah, it's definitely thinner. Definitely a lot thinner than the other one. I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more lightweight. But really, if it does the same, if it still feels like, it still feels really moisturising. So maybe we're onto a winner here. The other one is like, the normal skin food, it's hard to physically rub into your skin. Like it's a full on workout. But this went on easy peasy. Perfect. So skin food is on. Now I'm going to try the foundation. I hope it's the right colour. So I'm just going to put some onto the back of my hand. Seems a little bit dark. But I'll give it a go. Oh no, the colour is actually really good. Put it on this way. It's actually a really nice colour match. Obviously my face is all, my natural skin is always a lot lighter than my body. I think, I don't know why your tan goes first off your face or rather than your whole body because I ain't got any fakes on at the minute. This tan is still what is left of Dubai. Um, so yeah, my body, you can see this is actually the right colour. Just my face is really light. I think it must be because like you moisturise your face and wash your face more maybe. Is that why your tan goes off your face first? I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, so this foundation, it seems nice. It's a, definitely a lot lighter than the Hourglass foundation, I would probably say. The Hourglass is a lot more full coverage. But, I'm still liking it so far. Really nice colour. So this is number shade 7 that I bought. And I feel like it's actually the perfect match. What a great guess. I need to buy like a little headband when I'm doing my makeup because my hair keeps just getting all in the way. I just put a little clip in my hair because I can't deal with having to keep holding it back. So then I'm going to use the NARS concealer under my eyes. Imagine if I do all my makeup and I hate it. <laughs> no, I won't really. I'm just going to put it up like that. The one thing that I'm noticing massively about the NARS compared to the TAR is not really the actual formula, it's the, the like, stick size. The TAR one's really thick, so literally I just go swipe, 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 that's it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put some here. I'm gonna try the um, Elamasca contour stick as well, because why not? I might as well have a face of whole new makeup. So oh, that is on like so. The colour's really nice. And then I'm gonna blend that out. I'm really liking the NARS. I feel like my face feels a lot more lightweight right now. Like I don't feel like I've got half as much makeup on as usual. That is probably like the skin food is normally the thick one. Then the hourglass foundation stick is amazing, but it is definitely very thick. Um, and then even like the NARS concealer. Definitely feels a lot more lightweight than the Tarte one. My face is looking really pale on camera, but I don't look that pale in real life. Um, now, I'm going to try... Do I try this right now? Let me see what it looks like on the back of my hand. It kind of seems like a really wet kind of um, stick. And I don't know whether that's going to... Maybe... Let's try a little bit. Should we, can, we can try a little bit for nothing. I'm not going to put it directly onto my face. I'm going to put it on the brush first. I'm scared. I think I should just put it maybe straight onto the face. It just feels very wet. Like a very... Normally that contour is quite like thick. Mm. I'm going to just draw a little bit on my face. You can see the colour is not the darkest. It's going to be like a really subtle contour. Maybe I should have got on the darkest shade. But it seems to be blending well. I don't know whether maybe it's nice but maybe just like more of a daytime contour. Maybe. 
I'm not sure. What do you think? Um, because obviously I can't just have this. I'm gonna have to do it more than that. But it is actually blending out quite nice. Maybe I'll keep trying using it. I'm gonna put it around my head. It's very cool tone. Normally, what I use is a bit more warm than this. I'm gonna put some down my nose. It's good that you can just draw it on. No, oh, it's actually blending out really nice, guys. This is actually really, really nice. I was very, very skeptical when I opened it because it's very like a, I can't describe it, like a very wet contour. But normally the contours are like quite like concealery. Like that, that kind of consistency as a concealer. But it's actually really nice. I'm going to blend it out down my nose. I just love a nose contour. It really does change the makeup. Yeah, I'm just going to darken the contour a little bit with the pink honey. Um, just to like warm it up a little bit as well. I love this contour at the minute. I don't know if it's a bronzer or a contour. Bronzing face frosting pink honey fudge glaze. But I'm obsessed with it. <clears throat> I literally put it on every day. I know it's not a new product but... I feel like I just needed to really kind of warm up the contour and make it just a little bit deeper. But this is the perfect product. These products look really nice together actually. I'm just going to do it around my head. This is actually really nice to layer on top. I feel like the um, Illamasqua contour stick is very cool toned, which is actually what you want with the contour, isn't it? So this is just nice to boost over the top. And that is... A perfect combination, I would say. I think I've just found it. The Illamasqua contour stick with the pink honey. Oh, that's the wrong lid. Pink honey over the top. This. Golden. So I am actually going to stick with the Laura, Laura the normal Laura Mercier um, today. Because I feel like the glow is like an experiment. And my makeup's going really well now, so I don't want to ruin it. And also I don't have time. And I've actually just found a brand new one in my drawer down there, which is great. I didn't even know I had. So really, the glow one was a waste. But it's nice to try new things. And I will definitely try it. And let you guys know how I feel about it. But maybe just not right now. try is the bobby brown lipstick because why the hell not i mean i've tried everything else so this is a lip liner oh it is so soft it's literally going on my lips perfect like so easy i love is that the color could be a little bit ready pinky but the formula is Wow. Maybe it is a lipstick and not a lip liner. Cause it's going on like a lipstick. That would make so much sense. Anyway, I've used it as a lip liner. Then I'm going to put this in the middle. Wow. I actually quite like the, I love the colour, I thought this would be a very good day one, like a very good daytime lipstick, you know, just for every day. I am going to add some of my favourite Doll Beauty dolled out, just in the middle, to lighten it a little bit. I am actually loving that lip colour, that combination. Whether that was a lip liner or a lipstick, I don't know, but I'm happy with it anyway. I mean, what the hell? How nice. This makeup look is 
the one. I just need to set it with some Marf continu Marfi Continuous Setting Spray. This is actually the best I've done my makeup in a while. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. What great purchases that was. So now I'm just going to quickly dry my hair, curl my hair because I am really, really, really running late. Um, and then we'll drive back to Leeds. Right guys, so I'm back in Leeds. I'm ready to go out. Um, this top is very risky. Um, I literally am running so late because there was actually a crash on the way home. I was thinking, do you know, it's the longest time that I've been driven back from Manchester to Leeds and I've not been in a crash. Not, not being in a crash, I've not had, there's not been a crash. Literally, I was like, I bet I've got this one today because I've got to be somewhere. There was a crash. So, yeah, I've just gone back, got in my outfit. So I'm wearing this House of CB corset. Maybe you can see my whole fit. House of CB corset. These, like, leggings from Women's Wear and then just some Ego heels. Um, the top, I actually ordered a boob tip, but it's not come. So, maybe I'll try, like, maybe I'm going to have double-sided sticky tape, because that would do the same thing. How cute is this necklace? Um, I actually brought home a diamond necklace, like, a, just a, it's one from Treats, the one I always wear. But it was just a bit too much. I was like, oh, I need, like, a little more, like, delicate necklace for them. I was like, what about my cross? So she's never let me wear this before. This is actually her diamond cross. I think she got it as a push present for either me or my brother. How cute is it? Like I've always been like, oh my god, my mom's cross and today I'm wearing it so I'm gonna be very sensible to wear the diamond cross. I was like, God, you trust me? She was like, well, I hope so. So yeah, anyway, that's the story behind the necklace. Anyway, I am gonna bring this all to a close because I feel like it's been a very eventful packed weekend. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.